Good evening, everyone tuning in and our future viewers tuning in. I'm here with uh, one of my longtime clients and members of CrossFit Instinct. This is Anna Chancholo, and uh, she actually has a family member with Alzheimer's, and she's been doing a lot of research and um, looking into the disease and everything about it. And she approached me to talk about it, and I thought this would be a perfect outlet to get the word out about facts um, and risk factors and maybe what we could do to even prevent it if that's possible because this is probably around more than people would think and what you'll be hearing tonight probably goes hand in hand with everything we've been talking about with Operation Change Springfield. So hopefully you can learn a little bit tonight and maybe even educate other people around you and help Anna do uh, the good that she's trying to do, which is to spread the word about this so that we can try to get as many healthy brains out there as possible. So Anna, why don't you just give us a little introduction about yourself, what you do, what your background is, and um, how you got started in this. Sure. Um, I'm Anna Chincholo, and um, I've been doing CrossFit for almost five years now. Um, I am a professor and associate professor at SIU School of Medicine and I work in the Department of Education. So my role is to teach doctors how to teach doctors. Wow. And so I think part of my interest in educating about healthy brains comes from a need that we have to educate the populace and doctors too. That's great, so. very cool. So we'll start off and um, hopefully, if you guys don't know much about Alzheimer's, I know um, Anna will give us some explanation here, but. One of the first things that I think a lot of us are curious about is who actually gets Alzheimer's and how, do a lot of people get it? What, what is the deal with sure. this? Uh, actually, Alzheimer's is uh, growing in prevalence. Um, roughly 5.4 million Americans have Alzheimer's. Wow. And um, people over the age of 65, one in nine people over the age of 65 have Alzheimer's. And it's the sixth leading cause of death Wow. In the country. So it's very, not know very that. common. Wow. Yes, okay. Yes. And the biggest risk factor for Alzheimer's is age. Hmm. So um, every five years over the age of 65, the prevalence doubles wow. for Alzheimer's. Wow. Okay. Um, so it is a, a, aging is a big risk. Yeah. Um, there is a genetic component. There are certain genetic variations that are associated with um, a greater risk or um, earlier onset mm -hmm. of Alzheimer's. Um, but there are also um, some lifestyle factors that are associated with um, earlier onset or, or onset. Sure. And those are what you might expect for other kinds of disease conditions, things like hypertension, um, people who smoke, mm -hmm. um, people who are obese. Um, these, these conditions also increase the risk of developing Alzheimer's. Okay. So factors that increase that, like she said, are kind of the same with a lot of other diseases. So with that being said, are there things we can do to decrease the factors or is this just something that happens or what can we do to help prevent it? Sure, um, it should be known that uh, currently Alzheimer's has uh, no cure and there's no way once Alzheimer's sets in to uh, slow the progression. Oh, wow. There's a lot of research and experimentation with drug treatments, but so far, nothing is effective. Wow. Um, so the best chance that we have is to uh, develop lifestyle behaviors that will um, decrease or delay the onset of symptoms. Sure. And um, those are the same kinds of things that you would engage in to have other um, healthy body parts, like sure. a healthy heart and so forth. And so these would be things like um, making sure that you get a good night's rest. Um, we should be getting about eight hours of quality sleep per night. Okay. Um, it includes um, staying mentally and physically active. Mm -hmm. um, so aerobic exercise is very good for the brain. Um, I one of the things I like about CrossFit is that it's cognitively challenging yeah. as well as physically challenging. Yeah, for sure. So there's an upside there um, to finding the physical exercise that you can stick with and that is going, so it will keep you active. And then if you have a cognitive element too, that's great. Mm -hmm. um, mental activity, particularly things like learning a new language or right. um, traveling, things that involve developing new networks. In your sure. Life. Um, and then having a healthy diet 
um, all the kinds of things that we already know we should be doing, like eating lots of fruits and vegetables, minimizing sugar in our diets, sure. um, minimizing high fat foods. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the things I like is that a glass of red wine a night is, is okay. It's, <laughs> a, it's actually kind of uh, recommended for this sort Just of Just one glass, right? One glass, <laughs> yes. Okay. Stick it at one. I, think, I guess for men, they can say it's okay to have two. Okay. And for women, one glass. Sure. Um, eating lots of fish, having at least hmm. two servings of fish per week. Okay. Um, and poultry, lean, lean proteins. Sure. Um, and those those sorts of things, a lot of the kinds of things that uh, we discuss um, here in Wonderful. Operation Change. Yeah. Yeah. Great, great. So, so, yeah, so Anna brought up some great points here. Um, hopefully, even if you're doing nutrition, maybe just for aesthetics or to look good, you're also benefiting a lot of other things going on in your body and your brain, um, helping to keep you healthier long term as we age. Um, Last thing, I guess, the question about this would be is, I think you might have gone over this already, but is there a cure or anything you can do? I wish that there was, uh, but there, there isn't right now. And it's really staggering how little the medical community really understands the disease at this point. Um, there's a lot of um, momentum to get more research going. Um, and sort of the bottom line of what they know now is that, um, Alzheimer's develops by the buildup of plaques and tangles in the brain, which kill the neurons. And that's what causes you to see phases of memory loss and then later cognitive decline. Sure. And what, but however, people can die with quite a lot of this plaque buildup without showing memory deficits or cognitive huh. loss. Wow. And so the theory is that it's not so much how much you lose, mm -hmm. but how much you have left. Huh. And so right. that's where the importance of physical and mental activity and healthy diet, healthy living, social networks play a role in delaying the onset because it helps you build a stronger, almost like a muscle, bigger, mm -hmm. bigger brain so that you can weather the decay that happens as a function of staging. Yeah, great. So, so the important message here, I think, to take away from this is just do as much as you can here and now. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's probably never too late. I would think it's never too late. No matter how old you are, it's probably important to do that. And like she said, just delay as much as you can and get that brain going and keep it healthy for as long as possible. So, very good. Well, thanks for sharing that, Anna. I really appreciate you taking the time. And I hope uh, if you guys can share this with any maybe older adults that you know or people just in general who maybe are trying to live a healthy life and need that extra motivational factor to do it besides maybe just looking good or feeling good there's a lot that goes into it past that so uh, keep exercising keep eating well and keep the stress to a minimum get a good night's sleep and hopefully we can change the world one person at a time so thanks for tuning in guys and we'll have another episode coming up soon feel free at the top of the page to go up and hit uh, the subscribe button all you have to do is put in your email after that and you will get all of these emails and notifications about other upcoming videos like this that hopefully we can start changing the world. Thanks for tuning in guys.